वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल साइंटिफिक अंडर स्कोर मैथ टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज फाइंडिंग द इनवर्स ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स विद एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन मैथड एंड द्रास जॉर्डन एलिमिनेशन मैथड वी विल लर्न दीज टू मैथड्स टू फाइंड द इनवर्स ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स एंड वी विल ऑल्सो राइट अ मैट लैब कोड फॉर द finding the inverse of a matrix using lud composition method and the uh, similarly matlab code for finding the inverse with the cas in jordan elimination method okay so in this lecture uh, we will discuss uh, the first learning objective uh, point that is the lud composition method to find the inverse of a matrix so we have uh, example to find the inverse of a matrix okay uh, find the uh, inverse of a following matrix by le decomposition matrix so we have a square matrix of order 2 cross 2 and uh, uh, solution we suppose that this this is the a matrix okay so next what we will do and we know that when we multiply the matrix with its inverse this will give us an identity matrix okay so we suppose that let x is equal to inverse of the matrix and this becomes like that okay so here we in the, uh, put the matrix a and uh, this uh, unknown inverse this is the unknown inverse of matrix a of matrix a and this will be the matrix x that is the inverse of the matrix a will also of same order that x11 x12 x21 and x2 of same order 2 cross 2 and this is the identity matrix of course this will also uh, of order 2 cross 2 okay so we have uh, like that uh, this one is the coefficient matrix a non inverse of the matrix a and this is equal to the identity matrix so oh, so we have this is, is the first equation and uh, now we write the system as n separate system of linear equations and we know that how we can write this like that first we write in the given matrix uh, the coefficient matrix with this column and this will be equal to the first column and then again and this matrix with second column and uh, equal to the second column of the uh, identity matrix okay so equation 1 can be written as a two separate system of equations where one column of the matrix x is the unknown in each system okay so here we can see that here we write the uh, system in two uh, separate system of linear equations and this one is the first one and this one is the second one okay in uh, both cases we can see that both equations here we can see that the coefficient matrix is the same it's mean we decompose the uh, coefficient matrix only once at a time okay okay in above equation the coefficient matrix is the same as a result the lu decomposition of the matrix is only computed once okay after that each of the system is solved by a uh, first using forward substitution and then backward substitution okay so first we decompose the coefficient matrix a into the lower triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix we know that how to decompose the matrix coefficient matrix into the lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix i will provide the link in video description of this lecture you can watch i have decomposed the uh, coefficient matrix a into the lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix by applying the crowds lu decomposition crowds lu decomposition you can decompose this matrix by using any method and two little method or crowds method or chulisky method okay okay so now we uh, substitute or put and uh, this uh, low triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix into equation 1 and 2 then we will solve this equation okay so we have the equation solving the equation a now we replace the uh, matrix a with the low triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix this one is similar as 
x x11 x21 this is the first column of the uh, unknown uh, matrix uh, unknown inverse of the matrix a this will this will be equal to the uh, first column of the identity matrix okay so here we have the lu decomposition method how we can solve the system of linear equation by applying the lu decomposition method so we apply the lu decomposition method over here to solve the system of linear equation so first we uh, write the uh, u into x like that this is the upper triangular matrix and uh, is equal to any arbitrary column vector that is column matrix that is y and uh, then l into low triangular matrix into this one y which is equal to the identity matrix column identity column matrix i and this will be equal to equation 2 so first we solve the equation 2 for solving y okay first we solve this equation and uh, by using the forward substitution then we use the solution y is substituted in the equation 1 we substitute into the equation 1 this one and then we apply the and backward substitution to find the solution x okay so uh, here we have uh, the equation 1 that is uh, the upper triangular matrix into the column uh, matrix is equal to that is any arbitrary column matrix y and then a lower triangular matrix into the arbitrary column vector y which is equal to the identity column matrix i okay so this one is the first equation and this one is second first we solve this equation and here we can see that solving equation 2 using forward substitution okay so we multiply with you know, with the first row with x column a matrix and uh, then this one again this uh, second row with this one and this will be equal to zero okay so we can see that after multiplication we have equation a and equation b so now we solve this equation simplifying equation a and b uh, after simplification we get y1 is equal to uh, one uh, y1 is equal to uh, this one and y2 this is equal to this one okay here we have a 0. Point, okay 0. 0.5 the typing mistake and uh, we have 0. 0.5 okay so next we uh, solving a system equation one uh, using the backward substitution and uh, again we multiply first row with this column and a uh, second row with this column and equal to 0 0.5 and this one okay so here we have also again 0.5 and uh, after simplification equation C and d simplifying we have the x21 is equal to this one and x11 is equal to this one okay so uh, now we have uh, we can see that uh, we have the first column of the inverse matrix A and what is the inverse matrix of A that is X, X11, X21, X12 and X22. So we have the first column of the inverse matrix is this one and we have the value of X11 and we have found the value of X11 and X21 that is the 0 0.6667 and minus 0 0.334. Okay, so now uh, we solve the second uh, this equation B that we have uh, equation B is this one we have this equation okay so uh, by solving the first equation we get the first column of the uh, inverse matrix X uh, that is the X11 and X21 this one when we solve the second equation that is B we we will get the second column of the inverse matrix that is x12 and x22 okay so this will give us a inverse of the matrix a which is equal to x11 x21 and x22 okay so now we will solve on the same steps and uh, this will give us uh, the second column of uh, the inverse matrix okay so now solving the equation b and here we can again see that the coefficient matrix is same so the lu decomposition of this matrix is this one and 
then we apply the LU decomposition method to, to find the second column of the uh, inverse second column of the inverse matrix x of the matrix a so uh, here we have uh, the LU decomposition form and uh, this one is the a low triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix into the unknown inverse of the matrix say this is equal to the identity matrix okay so we have two steps to solve this equation this will this uh, first equation upper triangular matrix into the arbitrary vector here we have uh, uh, arbitrary column matrix that is uh, the matrix z okay ux is equal to z and uh, then we have low triangular matrix into the z uh, column arbitrary uh, column matrix this will be equal to the inverse of the matrix okay so first we solve the equation f to find the arbitrary column vector z then we substitute this in equation e then we will solve this one for uh, the uh, for x and this will be uh, the second column of the inverse matrix x okay so after solving the equation e and f we get the second column of the matrix x this one and now we have the inverse matrix the of a is this one okay so uh, this lecture is all about to find the inverse of our matrix using the lu decomposition method and in the next lecture we will discuss the in gauss jordan elimination method to find the inverse of a given matrix thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos related to mathematics